Hey there, everybody. I haven't done one of these in a while. I'm going to do an unboxing of the Batman Year 2 McFarlane figure uh, because of all the issues people have been having with it. It looks like uh, Mind Game is in pretty good condition from Target. There's no dents or dings. The plastic, thankfully, is in good condition, so it could be displayed like this if I wanted. And nothing on the back there. So, not bad. I'm surprised Target usually sends me stuff pretty pretty messed up. Target and Walmart usually send it kind of damaged. So, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. So, all of my McFarlane figures I open from the bottom. I just cut the spots here. So, there's one, two, and... Three up top. Now we'll just flip it over here and get the fourth one. There we go. Set that over there. And now let's pop this open. Oh, that came open pretty easy. All right. Now, for the moment, we're going to slide this out. So, this figure looks great inside the box. I wonder how it's going to be displayed. All right. Side there. Oh, wow. Even out of the box like that, it looks pretty great. Man. All right, so it looks like the feet are strapped together by plastic here. Let's take, get back, razor blade here and be very careful cutting this first plastic strap that holds them in. There we go. I think I have to cut the tape away from the plastic here to get to the twisty that's on it. So let's go ahead and do that. That tape can be pulled it looks like. Nope, gotta be cut. Okay. There we go. Alright. The base, the cape, and the other arms and hands wrapped inside the box there pretty nicely. Set that aside just for a minute. Flip this around. Some of these some of these McFarlane figures still use the old twisty method. So go back here and, and tie it up. Yep, nope, that's gonna take too long. Let's just cut it. <laughs> there we go. All right, got it cut. All right, now very carefully, let's take the figure off. Wow. Came apart okay. Look at that. Look at that figure. That is wonderful. All right, let's take this big, bulky Mc Todd McFarlane cape off here. Oh wow, I can already see the issues people are having with this thing. Is it a, does it have a clamp? Huh. All, right, that's, all right, there we go, got him out. So that's the big bulky cape, which I'm actually not gonna use at the moment. So I want to see the other stuff. So this is what the Batman looks like once you've got him out. It looks like mine, the joints aren't too stiff on. And it's, uh, you know, hot water always fixes that if you're one for putting your figures in hot water to loosen the joints. But you can also just be very careful with them. Most people aren't careful when they open their action figures. <laughs> and they just want to get them moved around. And But if you're careful with them, you won't necessarily... Well, apparently... I've Broke Batman's head off. <laughs> that just goes right back on the peg. That's for the cape. So not too bad. So there he is. Without his parts yet. Let's see here. Alright. Let's get these arms out. Arms and cape and extra hands. Take a look at it. I try to keep this intact as much as I can. But 
all of Todd McFarlane's figures have plastic that holds the extra accessories in and the bases in. So it's really hard to keep it looking nice in the box. Sometimes you just have to pull it off. There's the cape. That's wow. And so it, Kate, in case anybody doesn't know the history behind Todd McFarlane, he's not fond of cloth capes. So it's very interesting to see him actually do a couple cloth capes. He did it with all the, the Batman 66 figures. I'm assuming that uh, DC Warner Brothers wanted cloth capes for those. So he did all cloth capes for those. And this one, of course, has a cloth cape as well. Which, wow, that's oh, that is so cool. It's just nice to see a cloth cape on a Todd McFarlane figure, let me tell you. Wow. And it's got a rubber base to just slip right over the right over the head. Okay, let's see. Pop that off. I don't have any joint issues yet here. It's got two little holes that you can actually put right there to hold the cape on in place. Huh. Doesn't want to stay. Okay, well, I can fit those in a minute here. We'll pop the head back. Wow, these really... Nobody's lying about this figure. It really does have quite a few joint issues. I'm a little worried on the arms now. Well, people are having legs with a problem with the legs, mostly, but the arms kind of concern me, too. So let's pop these arms in and see what happens. Okay. Got the right arm in. Looks good. Joints are good on it. Not too shabby there. Now let's go for the left arm. All right. Joints are seem okay on it. Let's check the up. All right. Snap you in. Okay. All right. No issues with me. Well, hopefully it stays that way. But uh, there it is with the non-plastic cape, with the cloth cape all put together. Wow, that is a really, really nice cape. So thankfully, mine came okay and was put together okay. Uh, other people aren't having the aren't as fortunate or having more issues with this Batman than it really should have. So I doubt Todd McFarlane would see this video, but if you do know that your collectors would like something that they spend this amount of money on, this was, you know, $49.99, I think is the regular price for it, that it should have good quality and it shouldn't be falling apart. And your customer service should be, you know, a little more helpful with fixing issues with figures like these, uh, unlike I've seen. So, that's it. Looks like mine came out okay. It's not broken. Uh, hopefully the other pieces will be okay and figure out how I'm going to display this bad boy. But it really is a really nice Todd McFarlane figure, and that cloth cape really makes it even better. So, that's it. Not much more to say.